Hello, konnichiwa everyone, it's Kate, and I'm a pro trader and also a forex mentor based in Tokyo, Japan. Today I will talk about why most of the people cannot get success and you will know why after watching my video. I think there are those who have been putting lots and lots of effort on something for a long time but cannot get success yet and you may get a hint of why after watching my talk today. And the things I want to talk about today is very important not only as a trader but also whatever you do in life because they are all related after all. So if you like this topic already, please press a good button and let's get started right now. You know there are books that talk about law of attraction like Murphy's Law and I guess it's not something new to you but it's actually all related and connected with each other. Simply speaking, success only comes to those who have been planting seeds. I mean, those who have been planting seeds only become a successor and get wealth eventually. However, in fact, there are very very few people who have been planting those seeds. But the difference of whether you become a successful or not, the difference is only whether you have been planting seeds or not whether you become successful or not, and become wealthy or not. For example, planting seeds is not really fun stuff to do because the process is going to be like first you cultivate the yard for some time and you plant seeds there, then later it sprouts and it gets bigger and bigger, then finally it blooms and you get the fruits out of it. But when you think about the whole process, there's a huge time lag. You know, you cannot get the fruit right after planting seeds. Or it cannot be highly evaluated at the moment when you just planted the seeds. Plus, after planting seeds, uh, there's nothing going on. Like, nothing changes, no influence, and you get nothing right after planting it, you know. Basically, you have to wait. You have to wait until the seeds to grow to give fruits to you. And this is why planting seeds is something that's boring while you know, waiting for the result of fruit. And that's why lottery, for example. Lottery is so famous because uh, when you think about it, from a moment you buy the lottery ticket, you know exactly when you receive the result. And the result could be perhaps you win 1 million, 5 million, or 10 million dollars. And due to this concept, lottery becomes very famous throughout the world, including Japan, because it's ensured that you may get a result on a certain day in quite short time and period. Or any gambling is just the same, like baccarat or pokers or roulette. Whether if you wait or not, you get the result right after the game is done, right? You get the result in very short time and period. However, of course casino is not planting, and baccarat is not planting, and lottery is not what I mean by planting either. What I mean by planting seeds means that you plant something on which the winning possibility is higher. I mean after planting, the possibility for the plant to grow and get fruit should be relatively higher. And that's what I call planting seeds. Because if the possibility is too low, then you cannot keep surviving. Um, for example, imagine a farmer. They plan the timing for planting seeds every year or every season. Like if they know it rains a lot near future, or if they know that there is a huge typhoon coming in that area, they cannot get the result that they usually expect. So that's why they control the timing as well as the lot sizing each year or each season so that they can keep surviving that way. Now I want you to look back and think about yourself. When you think you want to be successful in the future, and I'm sure those who are watching my videos want success in forex trading and change the current situation for whatever reasons, right? And you may wonder why K got success in forex trading full time and live with joy and relaxed life in Tokyo with a Shiba dog. Also, you may already know, but uh, I'm just doing all these all by myself. Like, if I were a president of a big company, what I say might be not so realistic to you, but to me, you know, I'm creating these videos all by myself and living right in the center of Tokyo where the rent and living expense is quite expensive. 
but I'm currently holding three properties in Tokyo in which I have some running profits already and be able to live by whatever I want to do. And you may wonder why K can have that kind of lifestyle by doing everything all by my own without any team members around me. How can he do all that? Let me tell you, the answer is the law of attraction. To me, for the past five years as a pro forex trader, and even before that, when I was working at one of the biggest IT companies here in Japan as a career counselor and a trainer, or when I was in Los Angeles working as a financial advisor and other jobs, no matter what I did in the past, there's one thing I have been strongly believing, and that's the law of attraction. If I give an example, I believe this, I believe I only get what I did. If I don't plant, there's nothing I get in the future. And if you happen to be a farmer, I'm sure you're living by this concept, so you might be able to understand what I'm saying. Because farmers have to foresee the situation next year or next season and get ready to plant seeds this year or this month. Otherwise, they cannot eat next year, right? So they know they have to have those plans to get what they want to get in the future. And we're exactly the same here too. We also need plants in order to receive fruits. To me, like I have three houses here in Tokyo, which I'm about to sell with some profit before the Olympic next year. But when I bought them, all I got was lost because to buy those houses, I've spent like almost a million dollars. So that looks like my money is just gone at that time because I had no income gain at first. And just make it clear, I'm not suggesting or recommending you to buy a house for investment. I'm not, so don't get me wrong. But this is just one of the examples of what it means by planting seeds. So I wanted to think whether if you are doing something now that can bloom and produce fruit in the future. By looking forward to 3 years or 5 years or 10 years world, are you planting something now that can give you a big reward or possibly give you a big reward in the future. Uh, why I say this is in fact I've seen lots and lots of people who say they want success in their life but not planting a single seed in their life now. And let me talk about something even more important. Actually planting seeds might be the concept that may be pretty familiar with you when it comes to investing something, right? but you may not be understanding what these seeds are or you may be misunderstanding what these seeds are. For example, you may think when you read books that knowledge can be a help in the future, but actually it's not enough. Um, for example, reading books or studying or if you are preparing for entering a graduate school or if you are studying some new language, simply these things are not enough as planting seeds. Because to me, it's like you're only cultivating the yard yet. And yes, after you cultivate the yard, and when you plant some seeds, then you will get a big result. But until you plant, you get no sprouts. So it's exactly the same. Unless you are sure of what planting seeds means, you cannot let the law of attraction works for you. Now, I can just tell you the answer of what these seeds are, but instead of just giving you the answer, I want you to take time to think what these seeds are to you. Because unless you can come up with your own answer, I think you cannot grasp what I'm saying. Paradoxically speaking, when you think about the law of attraction, there's a result because there's a cause. Like you get fruits because you planted. So in other words, if you plant something bad that has poison in it, then the bad plant will grow and it can harm you eventually. But if you plant a good seed, it can bring you an abundance of fruits. And that's what I have been doing in the past. And that's what I'm actually doing right now. So I want to close this video with this question. What is a seed that you want to plant? Stay gold. Cheers.